We are outside in the woods. It is Odark 30 and we have our light here on ultra low, which is two lumens. Can't really see anything in front of us, but if I hold up my crib sheet here, has all the answers on it, we can see that pretty well. Next we go to low, which is 50 lumens, and we can start to see some of the trees here. Next we go to mid, which is 300 lumens, and we can start to see the trail in front of us a little bit. Now let's shed some light on here with high, 850 lumens, and that just lights up the whole forest here. Look at that. But we are not done yet because we have higher which is 1700 lumens that is pretty bright and last but not least we have turbo which is 4000 lumens and that just lights up the whole trail and here's your strobe warning this has kind of a two pattern. It's a slow strobe and a fast strobe. Back to that turbo. If Bigfoot is out here, we're gonna find him. Hey guys, then up here, and today we are out in the woods checking out our new flashlight from Nightcore. This is the P20iX, and I am falling in love with this light. Since I'm out in the woods, I did not bring all of the accessories that come with this. I just pulled out of the box and ran. So, you're currently looking at a picture of all of the stuff it comes with. It comes with the flashlight itself. It comes with a 5,000 milliamp hour 21700 lithium ion rechargeable battery. That's the biggest battery that I have. It will not even fit in my Nightcore charger. You also get the tactical holster, which I love. And you get a clip, lanyard, spare o-ring, and a CR123 battery magazine, and a USB-C charging cable. This light uses four Cree XPL2 V6 LEDs with a max output of 4,000 lumens. 4,000 lumens out of this little light. Let's go through the settings here. We have our ultra low, which is two lumens. Then we hit our mode button right here and we go up to low, 50 lumens. Mid is 300 lumens. High is 850. Higher is 1700 lumens. And then turbo is 4,000 lumens. I can feel the heat from that coming off of my hand <laughs> that's awesome so we are going to take this out tonight to over the river shine it up in the trees and show you what this thing can do to switch it over into tactical mode which is the mode that i love we have to hold down this mode button until turbo comes on or the strobe comes on it really doesn't matter we have to loosen the cap it will flash twice and then tighten the cap back on now, whenever we turn it on, it is on turbo from jump. No matter what mode we switch it to, turn it off, turn it back on, we're on turbo. With that though, you lose the ultra low setting, which is two lemons, but I just want power. So that's the level that I have it on. It will do that at 4,000 lumens, and it says it has a runtime of 30 minutes, but uh, I found that after about 40, 45 seconds or so of it being just constantly on turbo, it gets heated up and it depowers itself to a lower level. Also, if you use the two CR123 batteries or the RCR123 batteries, uh, it will not go into turbo. And I don't believe that you're supposed to recharge the uh, RCR123 batteries in this light. Another thing I like about this light is the strike bezel here. See this? This one 
Those are ceramic tips. So this is an excellent glass breaker. Uh, I'm not gonna break any glass out here in the woods, but uh, if I think about it when I get home, I might find a bottle or something like that to break. But those being on there, just this little bit of ceramic is enough to shatter a car window if you need to. Uh, and it doesn't kind of poke you, so it's not too sharp of the front bezel. And I really like that. Another thing I like is the little charging indicator on it. When it's charging, it will flash this little blue light. When it's done charging and it's still plugged in, it will be a solid blue. This battery is 5,000 milliamp hours. So even with the five volt, two amp charging adapter, it's still gonna take three hours and 45 minutes to go from empty to completely full. So when it's not in use, not on you, put it on the charger. Speaking of having it on you, it comes with this super cool tactical uh, holster. And I like these holsters because they fit perfectly on my duty belt. They have these little adjustable uh, things here. So if you have a thicker belt, a thinner belt, you can move up and down the runs and just stick this in, pops in, pops out. Nice and easy peasy. So I like that a lot. I like that it doesn't have cloth right here like uh, my Olight does. Uh, this is my second one because I burned through uh, the bottom of my holster here. So I'd flip it around so it didn't fall out. And then I burned through the top of it. So I had to get a new holster. And well, if I'm getting a new holster, I'm getting a new flashlight too, right? But I think this one might... I might replace the O-lights on my belt, at least uh, for this one. It's not going to replace a can of sunshine. But either on this belt or on my backup duty belt, this is definitely going on one of those. Haven't really decided yet. But I like that I'm not going to burn through uh, my case. So we're going to wait for the sun to set a little bit more and shine this out there across the way and let you guys see what it can do. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.